Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our home to another touch point, a Wednesday touch point. I was going to have Steve introduce it today. <laughs> I was supposed to say hi first. <laughs> I was going to say hi first. Then I thought I better not say that, but no, I did anyway, didn't I? Uh, okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. This is the day before Thanksgiving when you see this. Yes. Happy, happy time, we believe. I know we know not yes. everybody can do it right on Thanksgiving. We aren't doing it right on that day this year, you know, with different families and stuff. But we're thankful that we can get together. Yes. As a family for Thanksgiving, we're thankful that we have a national holiday in the United States of America. It's good. It's called Thanksgiving. It's good. Yes. And it certainly isn't just, I mean, it's not just turkeys and football and all that. It can be part of it for sure, but we're Thanksgiving to God. Yeah. Yes. But we'll get into that a little bit more later. Steve's got a good... A lot of good things, the scriptures to share. But you got some joy. Yeah, I joy have stuff, my right? joy journal. It gives us richly all things to enjoy. This is what I wrote for last week, a few days ago. This was Sunday when we got home from church. I'm still enjoying the wildflowers growing in our outdoor pots at TCC. Unreal. November. 17. And way uh, back, well, Steve. Even today, they were still okay, weren't they? I didn't remember to look. Yeah. So, way back in May, Sarah had a wise idea why not just sow wild flower seeds in our outdoor pots instead of annuals? And so, Steve and Elsie scattered the seed, and ever since then, Elsie has faithfully tended to those outdoor flower pots. And um, we've enjoyed those flowers. Like Black-eyed Susan, I saw in there, right? Yes. I don't or know all the, the different other ones kinds. If I looked at them more. A number of different ones. Yeah, <clears throat> very enjoyable. I also wrote another enjoy. This was from few days ago, I'm enjoying creating special projects with beautiful pheasant feathers that our son Andy and our two grandsons, Emerson and Asher, have brought back to me from their pheasant hunting trips. Oh, I need to show them up close. I clean them in vinegar and peroxide. Then I divide them up in order to sell them at our store. I do lots of decorating with them here at home, too. A lot of pheasants this year, as you can see. Yeah. So anyway, you want to share about the well? Well, that's one thing. You know, we talked last week about being thankful even before and we're going to see that again today an important time to be thankful is before we see the answers to our prayer and the thing is we need to be in that place of thankfulness that god was going to help with that situation because I tell you, when you turn on the faucet and there's no water, you really begin to appreciate water. But I'll have Joy hold this up there. This they tried a few different things, which were simpler. You're talking fixes. about the well drillers. Yeah, but then this is this little piece here that was leaking. Can you show that, Joy? Hold. I don't know. Can you? You'll take a picture of it. Okay. But she'll show you just that little piece was causing all the problem. The only thing is, it was like eight foot 
feet down in the ground and then you got to find it and really it's not a hole in it just a crack you can hardly kind of like see the, crack. the needle in the haystack thing yeah. and we were very thankful yes that the, the lord helped them the locate it and, and uh but anyway we're, we got our water again after one week of we, yeah. not having it working right. That's one thing. Maybe you don't, aren't thinking about that, but just thankful that when you turn the faucet, <laughs> water comes out. Hey, there's water. And if it didn't. We all like our showers and brushing our teeth. You would realize it real quick. Lots of ways to there's use water. All kinds of stuff to use water for. Washing clothes. Oh, yeah. And brushing your teeth. That's right. Dishes and everything. So, yes. So you've got some good things well, to share. Yeah. Um, we're looking at Thanksgiving and gratitude. You know, the point is with that, it'll actually change your life. To have an you, attitude of gratitude. Yeah. It, 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 I'm telling that to you right now, is that if you can grasp this, if you can get a revelation of it, understanding of it, it it'll actually change your life for good. Mm -hmm. Not for bad, for sure. But there's a few scriptures I want to start out with. You want to read that first scripture? First Samuel 12, verse 24. But be sure... Put your name in there. Think of yourself to fear the Lord and serve him faithfully with all your heart. Consider what great things he has done for you. Yeah, and so that I, that word consider stuck out to me there. And I, so I looked it up in the Hebrew concordance thing. And that word consider, it means to look, behold discern see um what great things god has done for you well i just mentioned one water in your house i was going to say notice water. take note of you know it wasn't real things. real long ago that there wasn't running water in, in houses in too many houses but uh but then also a deeper thrust of what that word consider is it means to make to enjoy or make to experience joy. Oh. Or to enjoy. And I like that. That's the thing. When you consider what great things he has done for you, that's going to help you enjoy life more. Mm -hmm. It really did yeah. something with me. I'm still, maybe it will continue that way. I'm Increased just thankful appreciation for water every time I water. turn water on. <laughs> It's fun just to turn it on once, dry, do the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a nice sound. Okay, and then First Thessalonians five eighteen. Give thanks in all circumstances. We tried to do that during this past week with the water. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. So give thanks. So thanks, mm -hmm. in other words, is something that we give. Mm -hmm. It's something we can give to God. It's good when you hear yourself actually say it out of your mouth, but others hear it. So the I looked thing of at, giving uh, thanks. I looked that one up too, and that's Greek, of course. In the New Testament, it means be giving thanks is to be grateful. And is to express gratitude. That's good. Yeah. And really, it says it's an attitude. It's something that it's a bent toward life, being having gratitude or ingratitude. You just think of that with somebody in your life. You know, like you do things for them and so forth, and they. They don't have gratitude about it. I mean, they don't. <laughs> they don't express it. You know, they don't say it. Well, 
that does affect you. It affects us. We just think about us toward God and all that he's given yeah. to us. It reminds me uh, when the well drillers were finished, it was a father and son team. In fact, this is the third well they've done for yeah. us and then Andy and Jennifer next door. And John and Jen's And place. John and Jen's place. And when he came in with the bill, we were expressing our thankfulness uh, mm -hmm. to the father. The son was driving some of the big equipment back to their uh, business place, but we were thanking him. We really thanked him. No, we appreciated it. Yes, when he did. It, their professional help. They helped us. Yep. So then another one is Philippians 4, 6, and 7. It says, well, I'll let you read it first. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Yeah. So it says, do not be anxious. Some some translations that say, don't worry. Um, and then it says, about anything. <laughs> now, I'm guessing that all of us have something in our lives that we could be anxious about or we could be worrying about. Yep. I'm guessing there's probably no one that doesn't have anything that you could be worrying about. But it says in everything, there's the all-inclusive mm -hmm. again, by prayer, supplication, and then it says with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Let your request be made known to God, and the peace of God will come. And why does it say with thanksgiving? Because we've prayed. And what Thanksgiving does, even before we see the answer, it helps us to know that God, that we, it helps us to express to God that Thanksgiving that we believe in Him, and that He's going to we take trust care of him. us. That thing that we could be worrying about mm -hmm. or being anxious about, Thanksgiving is a key to it. Mm -hmm. um, I've got. I've got a few things that I'm just going to read here to you because uh, I'm not going to try to reformulate these thoughts. Um, practicing gratitude, it cures much of what ails us. It helps us feel more positive, deal better with our problems, and even stay healthier physically. I believe that. Giving thanks and having an attitude of gratitude create an upward spiral rather than ingratitude, which would create a downward spiral mm -hmm. in our life. I'm talking about anything in our lives. Well, all you have to think about is when you're around someone and they're complaining, they're frustrated, the words that are coming out of their mouth are ah, downward spiral. Right. How much you appreciate Hearing positive things, positive right. uh, attitude. Um, so, Lord, help us to remember that with our own words yeah. towards others. And giving thanks um, and having gratitude increases our satisfaction with life. Mm -hmm. And more satisfaction with life increases our gratitude. That's that mm -hmm. upward spiral. So let's determine to bring our Thanksgiving to a new level as we celebrate our national holiday of Thanksgiving this year, mm -hmm. which is tomorrow. When mm -hmm. you, if you're watching this on the day it's posted anyway, but it's applicable anytime. So what does gratitude do for us? Gratitude acts as a kind of course correction, easing us away from negative thinking to which our minds often gravitate. Easily gravitate. It's almost like a default thing for some people. Mm -hmm. And we can train ourselves and we can train our minds 
to look at the good side of things instead of the bad side of things. Mm -hmm. It's like a message we had several weeks ago about looking at the glass half full instead of glass half empty. Um, you want to read the next line there? Where, which line? I was listening instead of... The second from the bottom. People who think negatively pay more attention to what is negative about a situation than what is positive. They give the negative more weight and seem to have a better memory for negative things. Than the positive ones. For example, the experience of a wonderful meal can be spoiled by one bad bite. So, if you have one bad bite in a meal, are you going to let that affect your whole meal? It made me think why did I have a bad bite when everything else is so good? Well, what would that know. be for? I don't know. <laughs> You're thinking too much. <laughs> it's just an example of it. You know, anything in life, you know, you have a wonderful day and one bad thing happens. Yeah, that's a good and then point. You're, all you see is that it's like on a piece of white paper, there's one little dark spot on mm -hmm. it. What do you see? A black spot. I know an paper. example with food is I love walnuts. And if I have some on my uh, fruit and yogurt in the morning, if I have a little piece of a walnut that's an old one, or it's, it, I know what you mean now. It's like, I'll take that. No, I don't like that one. But the rest are good. Yeah, or the same with a bunch of almonds. Although our last bet, bunch of almonds, the whole thing was not very good. <laughs> yeah, you didn't like them. Well, did you? I don't eat them as much as you <laughs> I eat a lot of almonds. I eat walnuts. <laughs> but this usually when I bite into an almond, it crunches. You know, it snaps and crackles. And but you're not complaining right but now. But these, I bite into these almonds uh -oh. and they squeeze. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know if they were just left open or what. But so he's giving you a really good example. But I'll have a good attitude about it. I just hold my nose and eat it. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't taste that great either. <laughs> okay, here's another example. An employer consistent praise can be drowned out by one criticism. Hmm. The memories of a great day can be overshadowed by an argument with our spouse. Yeah, that can happen. You ever have an argument with your spouse? Maybe. What is an argument definition? <laughs> <laughs> well, we won't get into that. We're looking at Thanksgiving. Right. The tendency to focus on what is wrong can impact our emotions and even affect how we make future decisions. So why do our minds do this to us? Because they're controlled by fear rather than faith. That's big. They're not yet renewed according to the truth. The truth which can only be found in God's word. Faith comes by knowing the truth of the word of God and the truth sets us free from fear. And when we're thanks, giving thanks to God, it turns our eyes from the things that we'd be fearful of unto it magnifies God, mm -hmm. amplifies him in our life. Yeah. The Word of God will help us to be able to appreciate and, on, and focus on all that is wonderful in the world, the, the good things. And I just have the thought, it might be the small things. Water is pretty big. It was pretty big to us in this last week. But just an awareness of small things. Yeah. yeah. But see, that's what we need to do. We need to allow, we need to do what Philippians 4 verse 8 says, what to think about, because mm -hmm. we, need to, we need to discipline our minds because then they become sound minds. 
disciplined minds. Mm -hmm. We talked about that last week, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, what is a sound mind? He hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. It's one that's dominated by thoughts of thanksgiving. And so that will help us to live with an attitude of gratitude, to find things even in the hard situations that we can thank God for. And that's what we had to do with the water. And yep. again, you think of the things in your life. We have things in our life. You know, that this is what we practice. This is what we do. Um, and it's gratitude toward, toward God, but also toward the people around mm -hmm. us, all the people around us. Mm -hmm. So I've got an assignment for you over this Thanksgiving holiday. So it's write down three things. And really, you can do it each day, but you could do it at least for one day, maybe. Write down three things for which you are grateful. You know, just write down. Mm -hmm. Start, if you need to, you know, write it down on a piece of paper, things that you're grateful for. Um, I've got, actually, I just just ha happened upon something near from Henry Vanderbush. He's an evangelist we had in our church several times. He's someone who we knew and our family knew from many, oh, yes. probably 50 years ago already. But here's here's a quote that I came across of his. Okay. Maybe I'll have you read part of it too. You can read it. But this is from Henry Vanderbush, who is in, now in heaven. But he says, I can rejoice and praise the Lord, and not go, not go by the way I feel, but go by the word that's real. You say, Henry, I don't feel like it. Well, feelings have nothing to do with it. When it comes to praising the Lord, you will always have to take sides against your body and your feelings. Your body is a big, spoiled brat. <laughs> <laughs> and it needs to be dealt with. That's Henry. Yeah. He lived down in Holland, Minnesota. Yes. Way down there. He's am, known as the Cow Barn, Cow Barn Revivalist preacher. preacher. He, he had, uh, and, Ruth, Ruthton? Or where was well, that? Well, by Ruthton, too. There was a church. But he says, um, I'm not going to let my body and my feelings rule me. I'm going to rule them. Mm -hmm. He continues, I'm with people all the time whose happiness is based on their money, their situations, their possessions. If what, if they have it, they're happy. If they don't, they're defeated. <laughs> we need to get our happiness based on the Word of God. It wouldn't hurt all of us to make every day Thanksgiving Day. That's a good point. I don't like to thank God for what he already has done, mm -hmm. but to thank him for what he's going to do. Yeah, that's faith. You can't run around defeated when you're in a thankful and praising attitude. For praise makes God welcome in every avenue of your life. Praise brings us into God's manifest presence. Praise is a weapon of our spiritual warfare. Yes, it is. And so that's the word there from Henry Vanderbush. Yes. You know, it reminds me of an old song. I don't know if we have time for it, do we? Do you remember the song, Count Your Blessings, if you're older? As old as we are, not too much younger, you probably do. Count Your Blessings. Name them one by one. Count your blessings. See what God has done. Uh, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. And uh, do I have 30 more seconds? Here's a, here's, a, here's a verse. When upon life's billows you are tempest-tossed, when you're discouraged, thinking all is lost, Count your many blessings. Name them one by one. One by and one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does the cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings. Every doubt will fly. 
and you will keep singing as the days go by. When, well, it's, when you look at others with their lands and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings. Money cannot buy your reward in heaven nor your home on high. So amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be discouraged. God is over all. Count your many blessings. Angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. Yes. And now Joy is going to sing that for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, we won't make Joy do that. We won't make Joyce do it either. So we, we just won't. want to thank you, Lord. We just want to, yes. with our mouths, we want to say thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. And help us to, in this day, in the days ahead, just to see all the things, all the people, Lord, yeah. um, that you want us to be thankful for, that you want us to express our thanksgiving to. Thank you, Lord. We love you. And we thank you for this special season of the year. Amen. Happy Thanksgiving yes, to you. Yes, be blessed. Have an attitude of gratitude. Yes.